bong. All right, let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Welcome to episode 22 of Smooth Lies. How could I ever consider leaving you? I'm your host, Jamal. Yo, Stefan here again for I don't know how many episodes. <laughs> Forte from around the way. Can't tell you the last time I had a bad day. You did. Back again, Cassie. How y'all doing? Okay, she ain't saying. I was waiting on her Instagram. I was waiting too. I thought it was going to be the whole thing. Uh, uh. All right, guys, remember, make sure to catch us on uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, as well as catching the, vis- the visual on YouTube to get the show started. Uh, we want to talk about the reflection of life. Um, hmm. We are living in dark times and we are living in different times. We're living through the internet. So I want to really start off with talking about how the internet, how social media has affected you all in your daily lives, rather that's your work or your personal life. Okay, well, I'll start. Um, With social media, for me, um, I like to think of all the positive ways it affected me. I mean, there's been negative ways, but I'll start with always the light of everything. Uh, Social media, for me, is like, you know, Basically, I being an entrepreneur, I run a business, so it's great for marketing and then learning marketing tips via, you know, sponsorships and things like that to just to broaden your uh, audience, in a sense. Uh, most of the time, the negative that I get from uh, social media is like unwanted shit I wanted to see. I didn't want to see. Excuse me, uh, like like death and. Weird shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no reason I need to see somebody in Tijuana getting their head chopped off. Like, that makes no sense, you know what I'm saying? And just how it's a guide in the culture um, to those who pay attention in that sense, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of negative things that are being pushed in front of the youth. And just, you know, if I can see it, I know the babies can see it. And um, that's one of the negatives I'm getting with from, getting negative I get from uh, social media, but, you know. I feel like when you're in control of your own destiny, you know, you can figure it out for yourself. You dig what I'm saying? So, what it's about you, Cass? good and bad. What about you, Cass? Um, Cass was looking like a zombie over there. I, <laughs> I know if you all saw the I'll visual. I'll be in deep thought. I'm sorry, y'all. She was, um, she was like the old grandma in the church. Nah, she was on the internet. That was the problem. <laughs> no, I was, I was looking at my stitches and look, oh, okay, okay. looking at what I was sucking on. Mm. But, um, whoa. Which is uh, it's a- <laughs> Anywho, um, so the positive okay. that it has really done for me was networking. Mm. I've met a lot of people. I've been networking with a lot of people um, just due to social media. Um, also, some of the negative, I would have to agree with Forte. Some of the shit, I mean, some of the stuff that I see is real irritating. I don't really like people that show their kids a lot on social media. So that's a pet peeve where I kind of stay away. Nick Cannon is an issue for me right now. I'm just going to leave it at that. But I'm good, y'all. What about you, Steph, man? What's uh, what's the impact and what's the what's the negative you've seen with social media? The negative. Um, I would say, I mean, I mean kind of like what, what you guys said as well. I mean, the internet really helped with networking, but at the same time, it like it gives you like access to people that you're not supposed to have in a way if that makes sense like right. some people whether it's showing your life or even could be accomplishments wherever the case may be it's just like i feel like too many people are like involved in your life based on your like what you post wherever the case may be mm-hmm. and then also when it comes into real life it's kind of like hard for some people to i don't know separate the two mm-hmm. like separate your internet per- persona with your real life persona so a lot of people get confused and trapped in that box, especially these days. I feel you. I mean, for me, I probably had to say, like, I love the aspect of being able to message somebody when I have a question. Now, I, I know a lot of us, not all our DMs get read. Some of us, we, you know, <laughs> we're an unread message. But um, as far as, like, on a networking aspect, you know, whether that's barbering, podcasts, real yeah. estate business, or just anything, like, you have a thought in your head and you just gonna get in the search bar and you can find people that are like like their job designates in that area. Yeah. Um, I mean, I I tell people all the time that if it wasn't for 
like the networking and, and me having a business, I probably wouldn't be on social media because really the only positive thing that I see from social media is the marketing, ass and titties, and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like, I, I thought you was going to go deeper into the marketing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you ass and titties. Like, I, 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 I mean, you know. Typical nigga. Damn. I mean, you know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, like, Typical. I enjoy what I enjoy, but yeah. I don't like the negative side of it. And some people may think, you know, revealing your body on social media is negative. Um, I'm not taking those women home, but I do enjoy it. And I will like the button, but There's I won't comment. I won't nothing comment. wrong okay. with a little so ass and titties. Basically, you're saying it's your fault when I scroll on Twitter. I see your likes. And I see that um that clip. <laughs> that's, that's all you. Tell what clip? Them. You know when niggas like like shit on Twitter, like you see it on your page. Oh, like you scroll I mean, on Twitter, you see porn or whatever. And like, I mean, hey, oh, I so mean, you look at that stuff? Yeah, I'm. A, I, I love a woman's body. I know it's guys out here <laughs> that could really attest to that. But um, so do women. We like seeing niggas too. Show I that mean, up. but y'all don't get on social media and see dicks. Do they? So let's just Why it. don't we? You can't Would go you on Instagram see and see that. Maybe <laughs> Twitter. It's not but something that it's I get a little dark in here. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, would you re- like honestly? Would you really want to see that on, on your Twitter? Why feed? not? Why not? Like all day? Like how we see ass and titty? Would if you I'm see on there all day. But if so I you would like to, to scroll and see a random dick. If I happen to come and look at my phone, I've been working all day and Hold I on, see it. Wait a minute. She just said, if I happen to come. Yeah, like the way you <laughs> just. Look at my phone. Uh, if like I put that to come, together was kind come, of wild. Come nope, from no, work. No type of pausing. Come from work. Come from work. Mm. Okay. Coming. Mm. From work. Mm. You know, I, I wouldn't adverb. mind to see some six packs and. A pack down there or another leg is what we would say, ladies. Six packs and cock spaniels. We want that <laughs> other leg. Oh, so, man. I know I, I ain't even going to say that. He got Never three mind. legs. So you want no, to say Not two. No, never mind. Never yeah, mind. never mind. Go <laughs> ahead. Go ahead. Go. Never mind. Um, <laughs> but um, the one thing I do want to say like about like social media, yeah, you could, it's good for networking, mm-hmm. but I feel like there's like good, good and bad networking. Like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> how, how can I make this make sense? Like, people who generally want to network and connect with you, that's great. Mm. But yeah, people who just want it for like a selfish reason. Yeah. Like, they only see your page based on what you could give to them. Like, yeah. they don't want to form like an actual, genuine connection. They just mm. want, like, yo, you could do A and B, and that's all I need you for. It's not a lot of yeah. genuine people in life, on period, though. Yeah. Like, yeah, you yeah, know I what I'm saying? Say so, like, social media. I think that's like every day. Thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know but what I'm saying? I feel saying? like social media. I mean, it's a bigger lens because, I mean, it'll be people, like, in real life, it'll be people you meet. You could kind of, you know, discern based on, like, what other people say about them or, like, I, I off agree. of the vibe or whatever. But on social media, I mean, you're going off of the page. Like, yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's why, you know, I, like- I use that shit just for business. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, I'm at an age of my life. I'm not trying to make new friends via of your likes, bro, like, or what you, you're showing me because... You know, actions speak louder than words, you know, and pictures can say a thousand words or many words, you know what I'm saying? So there ain't no telling, like, I've never seen a gang of people post bad pictures. You take 30 pictures to pick one or two or three, you know, we, so it's like you want, you're showing me what you want to show me. And that doesn't make you, like, that doesn't show me your entirety as a person or as a business entity or anything like that, because I want to know the good, the bad, the ugly, and the in between, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So. Now with, like. Like with social media and the internet, like, do you all feel as if um, it's made a lot of people feel like they're unable to be fulfilled with the life that they have? Yes. Yes, yeah. of course, because they're they're following uh, their idols or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like their life is not good enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, I'm supposed to be like putting a goal. It's kind of like I don't I don't use the word goal because then it sets you up for failure. You know what I'm saying? So like. You're trying to like, okay, say so I, I wanted when I was younger, when I wanted to be when I was 30, I wanted to be married, have one kid, and own a house. I got one of the three, but it's like I'm not married, I don't have a kid. You know what I'm saying? So am I considering myself a failure because of the goals I set? Now you may be setting your goals off of one of the people that you follow or like a business that you follow. Like, man, by my five year, my five year plan, I should have this much capital coming in and all that shit. But then it's like you get to there and now you're like, damn. 
I'm not th at that point. So yeah. now I feel like I'm less than or whatever. It's like it plays on your psyche. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, that's what I see a lot going on with social media and shit like that. And uh, I like what you said be before with the pictures. I mean, on social media, people only pick like the best moments of yeah. their life. Um, I bet. They only pick like the best moments of their life to actually show. So you really don't see those in-betweens, like all the work that it takes to get to that point. So when you look at it, you're like, like you said, you're like, damn, I should be here right now. Mm -hmm. But you're not because <laughs> you're not them. Mm -hmm. You're just living through them because you're on your phone every day. Right. But that's social media for you. I like vlog the vloggers. <clears throat> um, and I like the positive affirmation of social media. Um, when I say that, like some people that speak to you uh, positively, mm -hmm. like for your day, like, you know, hey, you might have woke up, your kids getting on your damn nerves, you know, but... You know, you still start off with your day positive. I like those type of people, too. Yeah, because I mean, like, I mean, like, you know, like Steph said, as far as um, not seeing the journey, you know, a lot of people <clears throat> post the end result and it's easy for you to see the end result and then come up with a cool caption that can get your viewers to, you know, buy into whatever it is that you're posting. But I could see how because I was actually one of those type of people like. At the end of the day, I noticed where I was at as far as within my career, and I was aiming for per perfection because there was a moment where you're like, okay, if I put this on this platform, am I going to get exposed enough for business to come from this post? So, you know, when we even have on the platforms where we have people that have verifications, um, as far as on Instagram, now you all know with Elon Musk, he came out and said, you pay that boy $8 a month, <laughs> you can have a blue check <coughs> on your Twitter account. But, but yeah, now I've even noticed like where people were, will think that, well, if they're verified, they must be t saying something right. They must be doing something right. And at the end of the day, like you never know, they may be paying or even could be a fake blue check. You know what I'm saying? But what value does that shit have, though? Like, what does that mean? Who are you verified to, though? Yeah, That's because, my thing. I don't get none of that blue check shit. Like, I'm real as fuck to everybody I meet. Like, I'm the same me. Like, I mean something to people I come encounter with. So, like, because I got so many followers. What is it verifying? Like, that you... You a what slave is it? to social media. <laughs> like, that's what yeah. I'm like. I don't that's get it, I honestly. I don't, I don't really get it. I mean, no knock to people that's, you know, verified or anything like that, but... It's just I don't really understand it too much. I mean, I think I mean it's a it's a status thing, mm -hmm. to be honest with you. Or I want to say like it's a status and like a landmark type thing. Yeah. So you could like so when people see your page, they're like, all right, yeah, this person really official or whatever the case may be. And I think like on Instagram, I think if you're verified, like if you mess with someone, it goes like straight to the top, something like that. But that goes back to what we were saying, like you what verified for, for what? For what? I mean, like, yeah, for what? You but, know what I'm saying? We. You know, I just feel like society puts these people in these high spots and motherfuckers really don't be proven. Like, yeah. I know OG that sit on the corner every day that's really proven. Ain't got a blue check or nothing, but everybody come for wisdom and knowledge about the game to him. So wait, what's better, the, the blue check in life or on social media? The blue life. check in life, of life, course. You only sure. get one of these. You can make a mini account. Yeah, right. You can be anybody on that motherfucker. That is true. I mean, but I think also, like, with social media, it stripped away uh, the skill of having in-person conversations yes. of value. Yeah. Mm. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you could even notice, like, you go out to, you could take a shorty out to a date. You at, you at the dinner table, and if, if y'all not on y'all phone, you could look around and see everybody on their phone. Mm -hmm. So where it's like, damn, like, we're here essentially catching Wi-Fi or taking a picture of our, our food on our plate and stuff to see how many likes, to mm -hmm. see if somebody comes in our DM ask, asking where were we at, what type of food was that. But I have noticed, and that's the dope thing about having, you know, this show, is that you're forced to have conversation. Like, you can't be around and just be quiet and just like, okay, just be a mute and then listen to everybody else talk. You know, you have to be in front of a camera. You have to be in front of a mic. And you have to literally say some shit. Yeah. So I would say there was something I wrote um, in you know, my notes and shit. You know, I do the 
poetry thing and everything. But I feel like validation and confirmation is addictive. Mm-hmm. With that, like you go into a meal, I, the the intention of me taking a young lady to a meal is to fuck. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> no, sir. No. I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna say to no, get to know her, but it's to get to know her. Learn, you know, share values. It, exactly. You know what I'm saying? But it's not to show everybody that I went to a five star restaurant or whatever star restaurant you go to, and just say like, oh, I was here. Like, what is that? What do you gain from that? Like, you want somebody to know that you're out doing shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, like, I grew up in the era, and I respect the era of just, like, I don't want a motherfucker in my business. Mm-hmm. So I don't I don't really understand that. And, like, a lot of relationships were ended mm-hmm. off of shit like that. Like, you don't post me enough, but I'm with you every day. That's like, I, I love you every day, mm-hmm. and I don't post you to where everybody know that you're mine, or we're together, but I thought you were mine. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm not mm. posting you. You so. dig what I'm saying? Like, that shit does not make any sense to me. Like, social media makes sense to make money, like you said, and, and network with others to potentially make money or build a relationship for some other reason, whatever the reason is, but it's just like, all the other in-between stuff is kind of weird to me. Like, man, damn, man, we just went to a restaurant, let me get this before I eat it. Like, how was social media even discovered? I'm just curious because Facebook was our first, or was it MySpace? It's my well, it was oh, something damn, before this. MySpace. Shit. Black, Black Planet, Planet. Planet. <laughs> Urban <laughs> Chat and oh, shit. So Urban it started chat, with our like, parents. Well. No, I, I blame them. Your parents was on Urban Chat. Like, I know my aunt was on <laughs> Black <laughs> Planet. On, my first social media page was uh, Facebook. So mm, that was. I, th- I think Facebook. Facebook. Took it over the top. Yeah, it did. It did. But can yeah. you remember why you got it? Well, it was for connecting. Yeah. Well, Dude, you know what really, you know mm-hmm. really started mm-hmm. it was um. Well, first I think it was like email and like people would have those like email things or whatever. Mm-hmm. Before that, I mean, it was just mail. I ain't gonna stud though. I ain't gonna. Mm-hmm. I definitely got an urban chat. <laughs> To get on these hoes, nigga. Yeah, That's what I got that for, nigga. I, mean, I ain't going to stop. Now, all the Ebony's was on Urban. Was no, no, on urban the real thing is, though, the girls, the I ain't going to be PC today. The what? The the e- they be on, like, um, what is it, IMDU or some shit like that? I don't know what I'm that not is. Hip. We I wouldn't, it. yeah. yeah. Inform us. But when I first got <laughs> MySpace, I think I was a freshman or eighth grade, eighth grade going on to be a freshman. I mean, I got it for real, for real, for, for the niggas. I'm trying to get connected trying to go to the events i mean mm. but that was the young me i'm just saying that was the young me ladies <laughs> and y'all can't say it that y'all weren't doing it for that because i was doing it for that <laughs> oh, going shit. back to what i said earlier Meet me in the coat of sack i was okay no i saw a post that they had like i don't remember what it was it was like an old facebook post and they had like the old pictures of like the little old parties y'all used to go to heck yeah y'all oh, what is this y'all you talking about my, my man the dry humping the, yeah, dry, the humping. dry humping yeah, the dry hell humping. yeah twerking everything. that's when life was good i don't know yeah. what it is now i don't go to the club and watch women dance right with nah. each other that's ridiculous why from, not? from what i've heard from what i've heard these days why am i here nah, they go to i'm the not club. here to buy you a drink and you dance Dance with your homegirl. Oh, well, the initiative is not to fuck somebody when you I, first Did you hear what I said? That. I said dance, sweetheart. But the initiative from what Jamal said. Oh, y'all I, it t- was y'all I. First... I'm talking to you, love. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> men, I'm talking to you. Men. We got beef from across. across the men beef think about sex the water. majority of the time more than what women do. So we dance on each other. That's a cap. So you, so you mean to tell me if a girl twerked on you, you your 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 thing ain't getting hard? I'm a man. I've had I'm a lot of discipline. sex, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I know how to control that. Mm. Yeah, she could just be rubbing on these thighs. <laughs> that baby stay low. Hey, right. it's a mental game, shout Well, if I rub on the thigh, it's not getting low. I mean, how I look at it though. How I look <laughs> Whoa, at it, there. Though, <laughs> I'm just saying. I I think it's Scorpio real season. rare to find love in a club. <laughs> I know Usher made a track about it, but I just, like, and this is just my standpoint. I would never wife a chick that'd be in the club. I would never wife a chick that'd be at her party, and it don't make sense to me. Now, it may make sense to others, but then again, when you get her, you all form some type of status. Rather, it's now we're seriously talking to one another. We're girlfriend, boyfriend. 
it would be who you <laughs> for real. It would be who you. Was that one of your worst to use today? I know, no, right? No. <laughs> I was at barber school and stuff, Asterisk and one of on my teachers, one. one of my teachers, would even like it would be who you, yada yada yada. But yeah, so it's just it would be crazy because at the end of the day, a lot of men were controlling to a certain to a certain degree, and then you have your over controlling. However. A lot of times, dudes will meet pretty girls in the club when they're dawed up. They're at a 10. We know that are really a 5 or a 6 on a regular day. And their attitude is nice for that night. In the club, I don't even think about a woman's attitude in the club. She got a couple of drinks in her system and stuff. She probably think that I'm, like, the sexiest man alive if I'm able to talk to her. But where I'm going with that is just, like, a lot of times... We want women to take. A, we want them to stop doing the things of how we met them. So if they go out, they they partying and stuff. They happen to finally be ours. Then we tell them that they can't go out and party no more, which is crazy to me, because it's like you can't expect her to hit a whole switcheroo. She been, I mean, I mean yeah, shit. You met her in the club, so if you why stop, would she not be in the club? But the, are you going to stop? Mm-mm. Nine so I mean, and I don't necessarily agree with all of that. I mean, there's some points in there that I, I, I can feel you on, but like you got to understand, like clubs, like there's people in there that you could be for. You could find love in the club. Executives go to clubs. You know what I'm saying? People with high standards and high they 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 interact with people. Say a network or group of people that you meet, like you know a bunch of CEOs. Like we about to go hit the town. You got a million. Uh, it's four millionaires right here. We all. High level thinking, whatever the case may be. You in the club, but shit, it might be another one across from you. You like, damn, I might be able to vibe with her outside of this. It's like the club doesn't make you less of an intellectual or less than a person a person of purpose because you went to go enjoy yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's just what you're getting out the club. You know what I'm saying? Cause you got your own standards, own views of who you want to be around. So I don't feel like that's a hundred percent. What it is, like, you never know. You might be able to meet your wife in the club. Because she could be like, I'm only here because it's my cousin's birthday. And I'm enjoying my cousin. But I don't do this on the regular. But that's further conversation. You dig what I'm saying? So you got to play the field how the field is meant to be played. You dig? Mm. Is there, like, an age limit? Like, at what age do you have to, like, stop going to the club? <clears throat> when you say so, nigga, ain't no age limit on nothing. Really? How you yeah, gonna, it's I, like six years in the club right now. You don't put a limit on your, your enjoyment of life. What's your age limit? My age limit? Yeah. I've never been to the club. I like that. So never. He's a never ass That's, nigga. He's a never ass. <laughs> Ain't that nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that nothing. Okay. Put a limitation on some shit you ain't never been to. Might hey. change your life, brother. I'm sure. You might go in there and see something you Yo, my love. man, hold on, wait a minute, I hold applaud on. You. Wait a minute. My man, my my man, my man has recently Crossed a five year marker with his relationship. <laughs> oh, congratulations! Yeah. Amazing. You know, you. clap Thank it up you. for that. Clap mm-hmm. it up for that. What applause, man? I don't know if we have that on the board. <laughs> this nigga played cricket. It's oh. <laughs> some other shit. Hey. Like, that's like, some sad shit, but congratulations, <laughs> brother. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Yeah, Love man. is beautiful, man, when it you is, find it. It is, man. So, um, do you want to talk about your anniversary or do you want to move on to the next topic? I mean, I, I mean, I sure I can get it. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that, that's something to be proud of you know you you've know been with one person do. for five years <laughs> <laughs> like nah yeah. um I mean fellas it was send flowers to a job man mm. okay so started out nice started out nice um but yeah no it wasn't uh, it wasn't too crazy uh flowers we went to um, a couple places for dinner um and two nights uh saw Black Panther um, I re- really got some time to spend like some quality time. We haven't done that in a while because we've both been busy working everything, life, whatever in general. So um, we just took the time to, you know, reconnect um, and just spend that time together. That's what's up, man. That Congratulations, nice. brother. Appreciate it. That's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. I see you dropped that gym early, too, man. Send flowers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Send flowers like to that job. Man. Yeah. Yeah, and you got to be crazy with them sometimes, too. You got role play. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Be the naked ninja in the crib. I was going to say that. Yeah, she come in the crib, be the naked hey. ninja. You know what I'm saying? I don't know about hey. that. Come in there with the, with the poo on. <laughs> no clothes. Not the poo shiesty. <laughs> keep, keep it fresh, God damn it. Oh, I guess you know what I'm saying? You or send a nasty text. When you with someone for a long time, <laughs> you should be comfortable enough to try different things. That's, that's, that's a fact. I, I agree. That's, that's a fact. That's my... <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, oh no, nah, it, it was uh, it was definitely great. You know, it was definitely great. Um, yeah, it was amazing. Actually, I should say. Shout out to that man. I'm about to say yeah. No, I'm proud of that. Oh yeah, no. You know what I mean? So, um, you know, with the title, how could I ever consider leaving you? Uh, we talked about a little bit of things as far as like mental health. Um, we've also expressed stuff celebrating this five years. Um, I want to move on to like marriage. And the reason why I want to talk about that is because, you know, with us being close to our 30s and in our 30s, a lot of people are thinking that, you know, am I, am I on the opposite side of the the pendulum, I, I should say, um, with be being married. Now, I'm not saying that everybody has, like, that has to be a goal, mm-hmm. but it seems like as we get older, it kind of, questions are asked are like, you know, why don't you have kids? Why aren't you married? Why aren't you in a happy relationship? <coughs> why are you just out here just fucking? Like, so <laughs> with you all, um, we're going to play this clip. Do we have that clip? Mm-hmm. Um Cause this is really interesting, guys. Um, an NFL player's wife this week came out, went viral, and was talking about how uh, her husband's money is her money. I cannot say that I agree with this one. When I, we get paid, I will spend as much money as I want because it's our money, and he decided to marry me. And I do everything that he wants, like I'll cook and clean and stuff like that. And when he makes money, I'm gonna spend it, and that's just what. Marriage is, like, you don't have to get married. As soon as we became one, whatever is his is also mine. So I pretty much live my life as I please. And that's just the way it is. Like, I don't know what else to tell you. <laughs> I cannot say that I- Got it! <laughs> that is a woman who is really unbothered. <clears throat> I, I, for Hold real. On. If yeah, you let's, were hear, on, let's hear it from her. You know, okay. For real, she's really unbothered. Like, I bet anything that her husband does probably does not bother her because- He's financially supporting yeah. her. So yeah. what am I going to complain about? My only point, though, if she's unbothered, unbothered, why are you on TikTok telling people this? Because Maybe because to educate some women that could be bothered by that. Like, some women could be bothered, well, he feels like because he's giving me money, he controls me. No, I get to do whatever I want. I still get to live my life. I'm still a grown adult. At the end of the day, as long as I'm being faithful to him and being loyal to him I why would exactly we ever have a, what that is have an issue because this is what marriage is brothers and sisters marriage is a contract it's a business <laughs> it's a contract and what their contractual agreement is she'll cook she'll clean and mm-hmm. she'll get to spend half the money mm-hmm. she was actually re- replying to someone it said uh why do you say we get we get paid he gets paid whatever she said but um I mean, like you said, yeah, it's a contract, Mm -hmm. but altogether, I mean, when you're married or in a relationship Mm -hmm. in general, I mean, it's a teamwork. Yeah, but that's, you know, that's your views, though. That's your views on the right. We don't know the understanding of their relationship. So, like, this video, of course, my relationship would probably be a little bit different, you know what I'm saying? But whatever the understanding of the household is, is just what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't know what video he going to make if he does make a video. But at the end of the day, he probably likes you. Tell him, babe, what it is. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like at the end life. of the day, go girl. You know what I mean? Shit. I'm telling her, go girl. Shoot. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, if, if that's your life, that's your life. I mean, right. I mean, what can we say about it? I mean, but a lot of women would love to have that type of life. You know how hard women work for real? No. Mm. We work <laughs> damn hard. No. Like, I, I mean, I don't know how hard. Oh. Um, <laughs> Everybody uh, works. I know some hard working women. Ev- shout out. Everyone shout works. Out everyone works hard. I know hard working people. Everyone works hard. <laughs> everyone works hard. Don't get me wrong. 2022, <laughs> everyone has to work hard. Okay, like, that's. Everybody. I hear you guys. That's there's great. No, there's no more working hard than the other. Mm-hmm. Equality. I mean, now, if you're, you know, I mean, I'm from a single parent household. Right. Single, so, you know, of, of course, that can be difficult. I'm yeah. sure. Challenging. Yeah, definitely challenging. <laughs> challenging. I mean, especially being a guy and this is just you and your mom and everything. You know mm-hmm. how that could go. So, yeah, that's difficult. But in general, everyone has to work hard. For Absolutely. sure. No, I mean, if I win the lottery, I mean, all my people, they're straight in my book. Okay. So with this, like, what I took away from this TikTok video was more so, like, 
I think that this could make men feel like, see, this is why I don't want to get married. <clears throat> because where it's like, even if like what Forte was saying, like contractual agreement, this could be our agreement. But when we have to take things to the internet and let everybody else know, like, cause she's an NFL player's wife, right? So yeah. they're going to know who the NFL player is. They're going to know who the man is. So for you to use your platform to let it be known that, Hey, I'm in the kitchen while my man is out here making all this money and stuff like that. And his money is mine. But when we decided to get married, that that's what the agreement was like. That's cool. But then and again, coming from men that aren't married or even they may even be in relationships that could shy you away. Cause it's like, damn, like, like what really value? Like I said, we don't know what she does. But I but think that goes with this the security of you being a man in general. Like, mm-hmm. first of all, if that's the understanding I got with the woman I love, pardon my French. Yeah. Who gives a fuck what somebody else is thinking about? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's my lady. We know what it is. Like, you know See? what I'm saying? Like, bro, she treating you like, like, nigga, now she treat me like how I know I'm getting treated. You mm-hmm. dig what I'm saying? Like, we got to quit acting like motherfuckers out here naive to shit mm-hmm. that's going on. Like, nah, uh-huh. bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? We know what we doing. Like, be secure within you and every day that you step. That's why you got to thank God every morning for the feet. Because you stand on business if you stand on business. Some niggas got their toes up mm-hmm. or whatever the case may be, but... Nah, man, like, you know, I wouldn't be paying attention to what others are saying, you know. just It's about being as secure as who you are. I, I, I was going like. to say something something similar, like what we were saying before with the um, <clears throat> our reflection of real life versus the internet. Right. Um, again, this is someone else's life. You don't have to apply that person's life to yours. You're Facts. in a whole com- – you're not, you're not an NFL player. <laughs> and <laughs> – other women, you're not married to an NFL player. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he, and just women in general, if you're not that type of woman, yeah, let it be known. Mm-hmm. Trust me, a man will go look the other way and find another one that will do what he wants to do. Look, get in where you fit in, though. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Say, hey, say that. Shameless plug. <laughs> 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 for real, though, man. Just keep securing how you live your life, man. Mm-hmm. Walk in the path you chose and... Do what you got to do, man. All right, guys. Now, remember, if you're still listening, if you are listening, um, don't forget to rate us a five-star on Apple Podcasts as well as Spotify. Let's get back into it. Do that. So, what else we got here, man? Let's let's talk about a little bit of entertainment stuff. Tennessee, Alabama, Vermont, and Oregon have officially banned slavery. The -hmm. state of Louisiana rejected the notion that banned slavery as a criminal punishment now when i looked at this headline i thought slavery was banned <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I, thought I thought it was too <clears throat> yeah I, I thought it was abolished <laughs> yeah. right that's People interesting like, what did abraham you know abraham didn't free the slaves but how they try to advertise it yeah they made it seem like abraham was that the fuck out of here okay so, like, what? It says on Tuesday, um, this was November 8th, 8th. It's so crazy. They put slavery in caps, but <laughs> slavery was on the ballot in five states, on five states on Tuesday, with four of them, we already named them, approving constitutional amendments to abolish the use of involuntary labor as a form of punishment. So, that's... so prison is a form of slavery, so they're going to release people from prison? I don't know if prison is a form of slavery. Though. Why? Why isn't it? Because I mean, they did a crime. You voluntarily did. You voluntarily did that crime. So, I mean, I you're, mean gonna be, you're gonna voluntarily serve that time. Is what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is, so what is slavery then? So what is it? I mean, what's slavery? Like, it's yeah. I mean, I mean I, I'm not in that. Yeah, like what slavery? Are they I mean, about? I would. Yeah. I would assume slavery would be as if I saw you in the street and be like. I own you now, and you're going to work for me, whether, let's say I had a farm, you work the farm, I don't pay you. Like, There's is that ball. going on to this day, though? Like, is there really someone that could be like, I'm a slave hmm. to this day? In that sense of what you're just saying, like, you off the street, come farm my land. I don't know mm. any Because I feel like this is some inner workings uh, on some paperwork mm-hmm. shit. And mm-hmm. the, don't get me wrong. Yeah. I'm not educated on this here. Um, headline or what they're actually talking about, but 
Niggas been slaves for a long time, bro. Like that shit ain't stopping. You really a slave because you ain't freed your mind. Mm -hmm. Honestly, you know what I'm saying. But say that this year, I mean, I I'm like, what? Because I mean, I see what they doing to brother Kyrie, and uh, they trying to make him a slave. Yeah. Okay. Looks, what, what <clears throat> so if you can give me further into that, it also what says um, the votes this week are major step. In establishing labor rights for incarcerated people, so oh, so it is about jail. So yeah. that also could be prison. it as well. So I'm, I guess people in prison who work and uh, maybe mm -hmm. they don't. I don't know how that works. I don't know if they don't get paid. Yeah. Or, they don't get paid <coughs> enough. They don't get paid. Uh, so they do yeah. get paid. Yeah, you can like yeah. wash dishes and clothes and laundry and shit and get like thirty cents. Yeah, they don't get. But paid you're doing enough. definitely twelve hours, eight hours of work. <coughs> right. Like, so that, free the guys, free the bros. Free them. Yeah. And that's just a crazy thing because it's like. We're talking about people who are incarcerated, but we label it as slavery. Because it know, is. Sla no, I'm just saying, like, we this 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 article is about prison, jail, mm -hmm. but we label it as slavery for people. Like, the label, I mean, it's four states ban slavery on Tuesday. Like, what are people to think about that? Right, exactly. You know, that's just fucked up as yeah, editors. Yeah. and. Well, it's just, it's just to cause outrage. If yeah, I'm, of course, man. Stirring mm -hmm. up the pot, you Stirring know what I mean. And this is what? What? What is this? Where did this come from? This is that's from the Bro article comes from Rolling Stones. Rolling Stones, yeah. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, that's interesting. But um, that's exactly what it is it's to get people riled up about it, which they should be. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They got the right to be uh, frustrated with that because I read that. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about right now? Like, right. But it's it, and then it's a thing that's going on for all those that have family members. That are incarcerated and things like that. Mm -hmm. You know that they work for pennies, literally. Right. You know what I'm saying? And they do a lot of labor shit. So, you know, that shit's fucked up. Yes, um, yes. And they banned it from being a crime, yeah. though? Yeah, I guess. I, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I that's think making. Like so basically, they're thing. making them do it. Like, I'm going to continue to do it then. Mm. Right? So if they're banning it from being a crime, that means. I'm going to continue to do it without any punishment. Right. So that's extremely fucked up. Yeah. Now that I hear it again in my head, like, whoa. Right. So, so, you tell, so they put it on the ballot to ban it from being a crime. What? Wait, no, no, Constitutionally. no. Constitutionally. No, it's all the way around. It's all the yeah, way, way around, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. So there. It's going to be a crime. <laughs> It's not oh, a crime. it's yeah, going yeah. to be a yeah, crime. So okay, sorry. This is going to be very I heard it wrong. My bad. My apologies. Yeah. No, I think Black it's like man uh, outrage. <laughs> you, we, you see oh, it? You yeah. see it pick up? Look, I, when, you, when, you, when you put your chest up and then you got the arm and then oh, this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? See, I think it's like a labor labor law. Yeah, it's more so a labor law. Okay. 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 But they just advertise that, like, you know, all black people look at slavery like, oh, hell no, they're doing it again. Don't say the S word. Yeah, don't say it. To be honest with you, not let you think about it. I used to say, like, we're like one bad situation from like a race riot or race war. But mm -hmm. now I think about it, the race war, that shit probably going to be online. <laughs> like, uh, for sure. <laughs> you in a race war. <laughs> Niggas going to be on war on Twitter. <laughs> every every day. <laughs> every day is, a, is some fucked up shit going on mm -hmm. via the creed and color of your skin, man. It shouldn't be that way. But that's just a harsh reality. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you when we speak on like freeing your mind and understanding who you are, I, you know, advise everyone to do their own study about themselves, you know. Knowledge itself is the power, you know what I'm saying? So read a whole bunch of books about nothing. Read a book about something that got to do with you. For sure. And then you'll know a lot about yourself and you'll operate in this world in a better way, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. people going to say ignorant shit, dumb shit all the time. If you don't know who you are, you don't identify with it. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if you don't identify as a nigger, or, you know what I'm saying, or a slave, you can't be talking to me. Like, a motherfucker be like, man, you a bitch. Can't be you can't be talking about me. Be like, who a bitch? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, And it bothers you and it triggers you into some shit that you will, will, will be considered bitch-like. You know what I'm saying? To have control of yourself and your own emotions and your, your intelligence. Mm -hmm. and you know what I'm saying? Having emotional intelligence... That makes you a different type of person, so certain a things don't bother you. A lot of people don't have that. Oh, oh no. That's why that. you need to study. And see, that's the, that's, the, that's the interesting thing, like, the fact you just said that, because that's where I was really going with mm. uh, today's title. That's where that's why I put in parentheses, you know, losing yourself, because a lot of people don't truly know themselves, so when somebody says some shit about you, 
it's easy to get triggered because you still scrambling trying to find you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. Like, we talk about that all the time, especially within our community. People who are looking at us, we're yeah. all black. Yeah. So it's like the most simplest thing, rather it's a curse word or rather it's just something out, outside of your name, you will allow yourself to be so triggered to yeah. harm another person. Mm-hmm. And, but when you sit down with yourself like, damn, I really reacted that way because of some words. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, man. When they say, like, you know, we watch these TV shows, I'm going to go to, like, the Wu-Tang. When, like, you know, 5% of they say, and the gods say, knowledge is self. Mm-hmm. Like, knowledge is power. Knowledge is self is power because if you can control yourself at all times, you're the most powerful person in the room. Because mm-hmm. nothing about this room is going to affect me outside of my character. Mm-hmm. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. So when you get into that, that's another level. Certain things just run off you or blow past you. Yeah. Hey, man. Sure. Hey, you dig hey, what man. I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, bro, some, some people just got so much pride. Like it's, mm-hmm. The thing is, though, like people, the thing about pride, it's like if people really understood it, I mean, it takes a lot more pride to walk away than mm-hmm. to actually do something. If people actually realize that. So in whatever situation you could be, it could be anything, um, whether it's at work, personal life, whatever. Mm-hmm. That's always the hardest thing to do is to hold your tongue and and walk away. Mm-hmm. Okay, so listen, since we're talking about pride, I had a scenario, right? I'm oh, it's about to be crazy. I'm Here working, I'm so like shit. you know, I'm door dashing, right? <laughs> in there, so yeah. I'm pulling up to to rallies. Okay. And the guy. People still eat that. That's crazy. People still eat it. But <laughs> that's people crazy. still eat McDonald's. But the guy, the guy told me like to speak up on the intercom. Mm-hmm. So you know me, I, I'm I'm loud. I'm naturally loud. So I speak louder. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. What is it that you need? <laughs> my pride in me was like, my come on now. You gotta do better with customer service. Like I mean, he said, yes, ma'am, what do you need? He asked you to speak louder. But what do it? you need? <laughs> She wanted, how can I help you? How can I help you? Yes, ma'am, how can I help you? It's not Chick-fil-A, though. It's rallies. Come on. It's not. They don't come yeah, like, right through your windows. He so, probably had a black amount in his mouth. Like, it, listen. <laughs> so I get, up, I get up to the window. The FT. And he was so rude to me, I Newport. snatched the food away from him. Mm. So he was but what like. what was I doing for you, though? He said, you have a blessed day. He just kept on saying, you have a blessed day. I hope your God bless you. Damn. That that burnt me up. Because of what? Because. That sounds like customer service to me. <laughs> because. You snatched the bag. What if me and him don't serve the same God? What if I was Hindu? I mean, he said whatever God God that you believe in. No, you know what it was? What he, was it? You wanted him to reciprocate the energy you gave off. What was that? Tell you, me what I it mean, was. you snatched the bag from him. You wanted, you wanted oh. that back and forth, but he didn't give it to you. Yeah. Mm. So, but, so what I'm going to say, what it was, was you, sweetheart, with all but, love in my heart. It was you. But to tell, <laughs> me, <laughs> to tell me, like, to have a blessed day and stuff like that, to me, that's sarcasm. You're not being genuine. I mean, I'm you weren't there, honestly, yeah, too, I mean, so we don't know. We could take this anyway. Oh. Like, was, I mean, he probably was being sarcastic. Bro. Okay. How, how I look at it is uh, you came to the window, or you came to the intercom, <laughs> He sat here and let you know he couldn't hear you. You weren't within your pride talking about how you a loud person. Somebody else did not hear you. So then you sit here and speak louder, and he said what he said, but then when he hand you his food, now you snatch the food. What if your food drop on the ground? Wh- whose fault is that? No, I had a firm grip. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I'm just saying, like, what if <laughs> My that pride happened? gets real firm. But anywho, so I pulled up in the parking lot. <clears throat> Cause I wasn't done yet. Oh, wait, oh wait, yeah, this is some new shit. Wait, this is definitely. Wait, wait, this is I definitely. Thought, no, I thought it was you. over. Okay. I came shit. up to the window and I said, "Do you talk to your coworkers like that?" Damn. No, I don't. Okay, so why are you talking to me like that? Mm-hmm. That's a problem. I yeah. said, "Are you a manager?" I am. Mm. That's another problem. So you, you, you need to work on. I said, "Word of advice," because I, I started to talk calm. Word of advice. It's how you should have led, but yeah, yeah. Was like should have led. You need to work better on your manager skills and your customer service skills and your people skills because you're gonna collide into somebody probably worse than me that could probably do something worse. Than, I could have threw that soda at him. Oh, you're trying to get nine him times out of ten, summer. he's probably walking back into the building oh. like, man, fuck you. <laughs> Like, at the end of the day, like, so, like, I would say advice to you, my good sister, is to 
Why? Keep just mm. continue with your day. Don't let that energy interrupt what you got going on, man. That's that was some low vibrating shit, and it is just not happening. Some low vibrating, now you cause, bro. <laughs> but like, tone that is everything, happen, y'all. I mean, tone is yeah. everything. I think what happens is that you are like not you all. Let me not because you were yeah, referring yeah, to yourself. women. I, I think a lot of people <laughs> think you see how I caught myself. Yeah, like good, like good catch. Right. Oh my God. So, but I think a lot of people think that, you know, when you're out there in the world, that people are supposed to match your energy mm-hmm. and then they're also supposed to um, match your delivery. Mm-hmm. And it's like people are people. Yeah. So you have to understand, like, because this is the thing. You may have been giving him more energy than you should have. Mm-hmm. Maybe. But like, what were you doing before you got to the rallies line? I was just door. I mean, I was cool. I so, was door dashing. What order were you on? How many? Um, how many orders? What was your gas needle I think, on? Ooh, that I think that's what triggered me. Was it the gas as needle. Well. I mean, what was the payout? The, 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 the payout was good. The payout was good. If nothing was bad about my day per se. Okay, okay. But I think I was more so. It's always tone for me. Like yeah. I take pride in tone. I take pride <laughs> in that because. You don't gotta talk to nobody like but that. But you don't know this person. Like you don't, I'm, I'm a, a can of paint. You don't know this person. But I know you in customer service. I mean, that's your man. You in the drive-through line. You better just get your food and get on. Like only come back in this line is if you missing a sauce or or your burger is done wrong. <laughs> but if we have an extra conversation, it mm-hmm. ain't needed. Because like, man, you messing thing. up my clock. You my- talking to the <laughs> manager? What you like? You, that's why you said, "Are you the manager?" And he said, "Y'all the manager." Then you like, "Well, damn." I don't even got the regional manager's number. I don't got the, the whatever, you know, the mm-hmm. upper chain is. There's no hope past that. All right. You can't. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, as soon as you get in, get into it with the manager, what do you do as a regular person? Like, you just give like, him Damn. word of advice. That's what I did. He needed it. He don't give a fuck. Like I told you, he but walked I in bet, there like. I bet he will look back at that and like, damn, she probably I bet he right. Won't. Probably no. not. No. <sighs> Wishful yeah. thinking, sweetheart. Sir, at the rallies, you better think about what I said. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so we have, um, this is a little interesting. Mm-hmm. And, I, you know, I want to see if this grinds your gears, Cassandra. <clears throat> um, Kodak Black flew this girl this girl out, but he didn't feed her. <laughs> There's a clip before me. There's a Shut clip. <laughs> There's a clip we're going to play. Play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> Finish it out. What'd you say? What is it? So he just flew her out. He didn't eat her. Oh, he didn't feed her. I apologize. Oh, hold on. Mine in the gutter, I love brother. How, like, he this didn't new eat board. her. We can actually hear. First of all, no real nigga is not finna not get no bitch nothing to eat. I told you, you it's not barbecue. Give up no pussy it's, for no flight. It's barbecue in there. No, I'm not eating no fucking leftover barbecue from yesterday. I no. think you probably had a bitch over here already. No, that's not how you properly do this. Yeah, I, I, I got you on a properly flight. I don't give a With a properly fuck. driver. All niggas want to book me a flight. Okay. So like, what? All oh, bitches want to wanna drop that neck. I don't want to mention that, though. Okay, but you <laughs> can fucking find them out then. The that's that's so exactly what I'm going to do. I should have told your poor ass that on the, on, on the phone. Before you Watch came. Yeah, mouth. I should have told your broke ass. The- so one, um, <laughs> let me start off with this, man. Let me start off with this. It, but this oh is also God. like my moral <laughs> standards and stuff. Ladies, y'all got to do better. Come on, man. So <laughs> thanks, we are. <laughs> I want to ask Cassandra and the women, the the female audience that are listening and watching this. Oh shit! Why is it that you all feel so comfortable <clears throat> with calling men niggas? Uh, and you know what. I really want to. I really want to know that from a female's point of view. Because <clears throat> I'm so used to hearing it. I'm so used to it being in a vocab for me. Um, when I'm in when I'm in a group or a setting with a group of niggas. I mean, and I guess I'm saying it in a positive way. I'm not saying it in a, no. I will say it in a negative way too. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a word. It's just a word. Or well, about the B word. Bitch. Yeah. Now yeah, yeah. that I, I don't. Me that, personally, I don't call. It, you know, no, I wouldn't. Unless you bringing off that type of. I'll say like you acting like a bitch. Uh huh. But I won't be calling you like this is my bitch <laughs> or bitch this. But I. But I know Forte over there chuckling. I. I can I say you something though, y'all? Forte? Yes, I am. I know you about to say the complete <laughs> opposite. I'm, no, hold on, wait a second. I have the most. 
Uh. Upright respect for bitches. Okay. But I have way more respect for women. That's true. You dig what I'm saying? Like, I'm not straight up like, bitch. Right. Or be like, that's my bitch. Nah, I don't, I don't do that. Right nah, I, I date women and I got women. <clears throat> oh, beautiful okay. women at that. So when you see a bad bitch in the club, you don't say. I don't know what a bad bitch is. Oh. A bad bitch is like a bad. I, if you bad bitch is probably bad for me because mm. I, I go off the like you leading term. up with that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm a bad bitch. That's a bad thing to say. Oh. To me, like you know what I'm saying? Because I like beautiful women. What if I'm not? I'm that bitch. I, Bitches say that too. I said I got more respect for women. <laughs> a, woman. a woman, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You you can be a bad bitch in your world. What if she but, feel like that day? Like that woman that you with? Like, why can't she just I'm be a beautiful woman? woman hey, and gotta... I'm gonna call her like, nah, you're a beautiful woman. Okay, so you just go. And she gonna walk her. out that house like, damn, I'm really a beautiful woman. Yeah. He said that. Thank you, Daddy. That's mm -hmm. what we're gonna say. <laughs> but what was you all thoughts on? You know, we just watched the clip. We just heard it. Um, viewers heard it as well. What was you all starts on that? I would say Kodak, come on. First bro. and foremost. He had leftover. He said it's a, get some barbecue <laughs> up in there. Okay, the barbecue. So you know if, a, if a female flew you out, flew flew y'all out. Yeah. Rare occasion, rare occasion. I'm I'm just saying if she did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she'd be like, all right, you know, I done got my my nut off on you. Okay. And you saying you hungry now. And you know, okay. Go Hold on the refrigerator. But that's not, nah, but it's this, barbecue that's, in the refrigerator. That's, 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 that's they, details they, that they weren't in this. anything yet, though. Yeah, the video oh, was prior. Yeah. Based on what they said, nothing happened yet. Why would she even go? The thing is, if I'm getting to go somewhere to see somebody. I better know them. My intentions are to see you. And you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. first of all, I'm going to have my own yaper. Mm -hmm. So. I'm good. I'm going to eat regardless. You know what I'm saying? Could you explain what a yaper is? Yaper is money. You know, that comes from the yay area, the Bay Area. You know what I'm saying? So yaper. No, I'm not from there, but I have, I'm a fan of the music out there. So if I'm going to have my own money, you know, I'm good. But to this point, I feel like As a if, I'm, if, if you're flying me out, I'm kicking it with you regardless. I'm down for whatever mm -hmm. that involves you. Yep. Like, she felt... And I, I let me say, not saying she fell because I don't know this woman, mm -hmm. but I think that she was getting flown out for the pampering experience that probably was not spoke about at this time. But she probably assumed that as well, because my Angelou said to assume is to make an ass out of you. It sure is. You dig what I'm saying? So. Um, I think that's the quote I'm saying. I think it's Maya. <laughs> but I could be wrong. So for those good. who I don't know. It's by Maya. So, you know, I say that to say this. Uh, she, she, you know, could have got some barbecue. But her, my intentions would be out there to kick it with whoever. I'm down for whatever it is that involves me and you interacting and chilling. Maybe you know? if if that was like and somebody I'm dropping something off. I've been if I'm flying. talking to for a while. You know what I'm saying? Dropping I've done kicked it with you for a while. And then you like, babe, I'm going to fly you out. I'm over here. I'm going to fly you out. All right, cool. And then you'd be like, damn, babe, I'm hungry. Oh, there's some barbecue in there. You want me to warm it up for you, babe? I Then, yeah. Okay, cool. But... Maybe. Granted, he don't know this woman he from don't. a can of paint, well, and it's a reason though, he flew her out. I would say, and there is a reason. I, I mean, we know the reason, but and that's the problem. <laughs> she didn't know, I guess. Mm. Mm. Uh, I know it. Me personally, I mean, I mean, if I invite anyone out, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you're straight. Like, okay. I'm not gonna have you starving. But if I had leftovers <laughs> nigga, just from the other day, why can't you eat that? <laughs> like, and I, ha I hired a I'm, chef. But but, but he'll, here's the thing: I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure it's good. I'm gonna heat right. it up and everything, and I'm gonna put it on the plate. I will eat it. Like, Shit, so fly this, me so out. So this is how I look at it, right? <laughs> Let's put it like this: the man has already spent his hard-earned money to fly you out. He also said that he also got a driver for you. This woman didn't have to sit here and catch a taxi, an Uber, a Lyft. There was a driver for you. We're going to meet up at this spot. Boom, boom, boom. Now, if you still hungry, because mind you, this is what I'm thinking in my head. Your flight was covered. Your ride was covered. You couldn't get no food in the airport. And and you gave you a place to stay. And you have a place to stay. So if we, because obviously it sounded like they was at the crib. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. So it's like if, if you... If you can't wait, because we don't know what the whole thing was, like, 
he probably could have been just chilling and like, oh, you hungry right now? Like, there's some food in here. What if she ain't eat meat? I mean, well, she, say that. <laughs> say what, I mean, say I that. But, with, but she would have ate meat sometime <laughs> in this trip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, without the bun. <laughs> <laughs> so, but yeah. like, but yeah, I'm just saying, like, I think, like she said, she said, dudes fly her out all the time. Okay, so there shouldn't be no type. This that shouldn't pussy be is new loose. Or fine to you. Okay, I feel like it's more. It's, it goes back to her just being. It's like expectations, man. Mm-hmm. I feel like you know, expect to be around me and be in my presence. Whatever come with that is what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So if you have these high expectations on a low vibrating motherfucking situation. I'm flying you out. You're not about to get. I'm pretty sure. And I'm, I don't know. I'm not pretty sure. I'm just saying. Yak might be thinking like this. Find you out. Because his next reference was, I'm trying to hit some neck. <laughs> so, like, this is a sexual encounter that's about to happen. So you wanted to be pampered before the reason in which we agreed was going to happen. Or that's what the, because if everybody's flying you out, are these all your boyfriends? Mm-hmm. Are they all treating you with the most prestigious of, Travel shit. They give because leftovers. what? Like, is the experience here, or is it is easier for me to get your number via DM and I'm gonna fly you out, and you assume that I'm paying for all this other shit? I'm supposed to continue or whatever thing is. I don't know what their conversation was, but this is a low vibrating situation. I would have said I don't eat leftovers, and then they could have figured it out from there because they didn't but even like. You, but do you eat leftovers? Everyone eats leftovers. Bro. I love me some leftovers. Okay, so <laughs> Thanksgiving is coming up, or what they like, call Thanksgiving. Because sometimes people switch up shit depending on who they are around. Hell yeah, like they want to act like this perfect type person, and they. I would have told Kodak, Kodak, I don't eat leftovers. Now, I would admit though, leftover barbecue that shit do be dry though. It be dry. Yeah. Be dry, yeah. Like, he already said Atlanta don't got good food. <laughs> Give me some jerk. Who, Who said, said that? that? Uh, Kodak said that this week. He said Atlanta don't have good food. I thought it was Bobby. That's bogus. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that meant, was that Bobby? I thing? think that was Bobby because he got bogus, ox though. tails, didn't he? Did That's you see opinion, ox tails? Though. I can't remember. I mean, That's I love some ox tails, though. Any ox tail I mean, for real. I mean, he. He from New York, yeah, and ox tails in ATL, I'm sure. I it's mean, different. I would not yeah, like it. Because New York probably yeah. got there. And he Caribbean. So. Yeah. Damn, Kodak. <laughs> he told that bitch to go get some leftovers out the refrigerator. But the thing is, they got in a whole argument and it was a lot of disrespect in between there. Yeah. And I want to know how long she stayed. She stayed. Let's be honest. So she that was stayed. probably gave, a pointless conversation. She gave the dog. Let's be honest. We Co- don't know. No, nah, let's be honest. We don't Co- know. Kodak went to that DoorDash app. He sure did. Yeah, he definitely did. Like, baby, you don't. I'm pretty Damn. sure. I feel like he does. He's probably like, baby, calm down. Because that neck was, that neck, that potential <laughs> neck, he had to weigh his options. Do I really, man, this is just food. Right. And she going she gonna to top me off for some food. That's when, that's when, fellas, you got to sit back. And you got to look like, damn, I get the draws or I get the mouth. For that, <laughs> some food. Or some Chick-fil-A. <laughs> you know what I mean? You want to you wanna drink? They say drinks. You don't, yeah, you don't you get don't, canned Sprite? Okay, they got lemonade. You don't want no woman hangry at you, you know what I'm saying, I mean, before but that, we I get mean, down. I mean, but that's how I look at it is that. Feed me, nigga. See, you see what I'm saying? Duh. Look, look. Be talking. Fellas, be careful what I'm her sorry type, that I keep on saying that, but feed me. I'm look. just I'm just saying at the end of the day. Flight, finance, feed, and fuck. I said, I said, I said this. In the That's shop. new. I, I'm just saying. I said this in the shop this week that <laughs> getting <laughs> getting pussy is F-F-F-F. not That's five F's or four F's. Four. Four. Five, five times up. Okay. Five, five, but yeah, four, like, F's, four F's of life. My bad. Four F's of life. Like, yeah. getting, like I think in today's today's era, this is probably like the easiest time to get pussy because they put in a blueprint right there on the internet. <laughs> Really? You think so? Yes. Fly me out. If I have the money, I can get a ticket for the draws. Feed me. If I have the money, I can pay for us to go to dinner. Take me on a nice date. If I have the money, I'll sit here and do that. Boom, boom. I'm not. 
if you don't have the money, then it becomes a little bit trying. Or at times, sometimes with men, I don't want to speak for myself, but we tend to overreach on pussy that is not in our caliber. We can't reach that. But we think because of what it looks like and how it's advertised, that's our pussy too. <clears throat> I like to ask you a question. I like to pose a question. Mm-hmm. Pose a question. Whose fault is that? Is it the woman's fault or is that the man's fault for that being the way of society right now? I, th- I, th- I think so. This is how I look at it. I'm asking for your way of looking at it, brother. Okay. I'm speaking in my own voice. <laughs> in honesty, I want to say it's the man's fault, right? And I think what happens, especially within our community, is that we put everything that we're supposed to be, like, focusing on what's important on the back burner because of some pussy or, or a woman out here shaking ass or looking in a tight outfit or something like that. So if a woman... Because I, I find women are very, when I say women, I'm not talking about the bitches, but I find them as easygoing people because they're very simple. Like if they say, this is what I want, okay, that's simple. Now, when you're overreaching and stuff or you think that you hot shit, now you're overreaching. But what happens is that men treat new pussy like, like they're losing their virginity. Mm. As if it's the first time. And... In reality, and I say this all the time, just like how women talk about dicks and stuff, like, they're, dicks come in, it's, it's an assortment package, but mm-hmm. it's a lot of the same packages, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, probably, let's just say five. When it come to men and stuff, we, I don't even think we, do you care about how I look, or you care about how I smell, or both? You ask me. <laughs> Personal I'm saying, could it be a butterfly effect, or just... you gotta be like this? Bro, I, I'm. Uh, it's not about me. Finish your okay, statement. Okay, like, okay, okay, bring me to that shit, I nigga. Fuck is wrong with this nigga, man? The fuck has got but, personal, nigga? But I'm just saying, like, off the camera. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think at the end of the day, like with men, like how how women are today is because of us. Mm-hmm. Because at the end of the day, I th- I don't think we really take the time to think. Okay. What is it that this woman is used to? Mm-hmm. If she's used to men flying her out, buying her purses, taking her out on nice dates and stuff, if that's not who you are, then you shouldn't think that because of who you are as a person, you can come into her domain and change her shit because of what you say to her. Because at the end of the day, she's going to want what she's used to. Mm-hmm. Now, with men, it's very simple because we'll go over the top or we may just be simple and smooth. Smooth Lies podcast, about to see you guys. But um, may just be smooth just to get the draws. Hmm. Like, men don't, if we really put it, if we really go in there, men do not be like, oh, I want to sit here and be your boyfriend. I want to be your husband and stuff like this. Before the draws. Now, sometimes what happens is that a woman don't want to seem like a hoe where she don't want to sit here and give up that pussy if she don't have a status. She don't want to feel like, oh, no, we got to, I can't do that. You got to mean something to me. This has to be meaningful to me. But if she on the internet, she throwing up her ass and she flashing and stuff like that in her own way, it's like, hold on, you know what type of time I'm on because of what you're delivering. So, <laughs> uh, a bit so your answer is, man. is not, men. Okay, it's there men. we go. It's men. Okay. I'm sorry I had to sit here and go on a little tangent. Yeah, no, nah, you're good. Because like, it's good to have the details behind it because I, a hundred percent, hundred excuse me, hundred percent agree with you because if we heighten our standards on what we want and what we enjoy and what we look forward to, it it changes the dynamic of how you know what I'm saying interaction with women you know go about. Mm-hmm. Now there's nothing wrong with you liking what you like if you can do it, do what you do, but. Everyone has to realize and understand that certain things are not for you. Everyone does not do the same shit. You are an individual. The seven billion people and counting on this fucking planet. Like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's not going to be the same. If that's the case, we'll all be fucking robots. You know what I'm saying? So 
I feel like if we heighten our standards as men and just really carry ourselves as men, because there's nothing wrong with having like liking what you like. You hell, you might get a kick from flying women out, taking care of them, doing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But to the ladies, I say, don't expect every man to be the same, mm -hmm. because what will make us special anyway? And that, bro, the same way. This is how I look at it. Like, and I've told women this before. Um, like, if you already out, if you already getting pussy, <laughs> if like, and this is just real. Your tone it, is so hilarious. To I me, apologize. Though. You getting pussy? I'm, work, I'm working on my tone. I'm working on my delivery. I'm working on a lot this of is things. Hilarious, bro. You sound like but, that man at Raleigh's. Go ahead. <laughs> but I, but what I'm saying is that. If you're a guy, you're already getting pussy and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Rather, it's a rotation or rather it's in-house pussy. You don't really be phased. You shouldn't really be phased on some new pussy because you probably already met it before. So when you sit here going all over the top just for some pussy, I'd rather be, if I really like this woman, I'd rather be going over the top to get to know her mm -hmm. because there may be a future with me and that woman. But if I'm sitting here, I got to do all this catering, all this catering, but like you said, our standards is mm. just for the draws. Yeah. It's not for anything else. Like you're not looking for a helpmate. You're not looking for a wife. Um a partner. A partner. You know, a lot of time a lot of times, if you really look at it, you sit here doing all this stuff just to have some satisfaction for thirty to forty five minutes or longer, or being a two minute man. Mm -hmm. And I would say it goes back to self-worth, too. Mm -hmm. Like, am I going above and beyond to just have some sex? Mm -hmm. Like, am I going to go above and beyond? It's this question you ask yourself in the mirror. I'm like, Fellas, ask yourself this question. Am I going to go above and beyond just to get some sex? <clears throat> that shit sounds ridiculous as fuck. That as many times crazy. as I'm saying yeah. it, like... Am I going to go above and beyond just for some sex? It has to be more to that mm -hmm. for me. Like, I'm not about to fly you out. Cause, all right, I'm going to say it in the player's way. I'm not about to fly you out. I'm not going to take a, a, she, a seashell to the beach. There's women everywhere I live. Mm -hmm. I'm not about to fly you out and do all that extra shit just for some sex. Now, if I want to do that to meet you and really get to know you, that's I'll do it. Yep. But it's like we have to heighten our own self-worth and understanding who we are. Like, yeah. nigga, I'm not going through all that shit just to get smashed. But I'm glad you it doesn't make <laughs> sense. I'm glad you said that, because I do feel like <laughs> like when men like practice self-worth, like I feel like women look at us like how can I say this? You like, pussy. Yeah. You look at us like like we some bitches or some shit. Come like, get this pussy. <laughs> Stop being a pussy. Like, like when we say like, oh yeah, let's practice self words. You a king, king, whatever. You know, be great, do this, have a standard, whatever. Right. Make 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 your own list. This is what you want. Women look at you like, yeah, we ain't. Stop. Not all because women. You, not it, all women. We're not gonna say all women because that's more of a challenge, mm -hmm. right? Like, I've dealt with women that we go out a couple of times and they assume like they're putting the time li limit on when I'm going to have sex with them. Yeah. yeah. I've, I've That's not that in before. your power. That's not in your control. And I it, sleep with who I want to sleep with when I want to. Now it's going to sound crazy. It sounds crazy. It does. But it's the real. Yeah. Cause you're not going to make me do shit and I'm not going to make you do nothing you don't mm -hmm. want to do. But this is what happens when you do that fellas. I'm giving you some game. When you take your time with a woman, she appreciates you more. Yeah, Absolutely. for sure. Because if you quick to get the ass, bro, that everybody else did. So what's special about this? And that's a key thing that you just said right there. The end part of what you said right there. Huh? <laughs> when they show appreciation? <laughs> no, when it's just like everybody else is trying to get your ass. Mm. So if I'm not sitting here, if I'm not sitting here trying to throw you anything different, I'm going to be over here with the trying to get your ass getter type guys. Mm. And what's so interesting is that this was this week at work, right? Like, there's, you know, me being a barber, there's always the barber memes when there's, like, you know, you're Got cutting. Got some hoes. Mm. <laughs> wow. Anyways. It's getting dark. Anyways, uh. back to what I was saying before I was really interrupted with all that hateful energy. <laughs> oh. Um, <laughs> this girl, right? And mm. I've serviced a lot of women that have tried to shoot their shot at me. Service them in what way, sir? 
um, fading, okay. edging up, lighting. Okay, there you go. Make sure you clarify what Question, you're talking about. Before you finish your thought, <laughs> uh-huh. like, in that, like when you fade them up, like, are they like giving you direct eye contact? No, and that's just what clients, I don't really like, I don't like, barbers know that, like, don't look at us when we're, in, when we're servicing you. Well, if it's a barbershop. girl, though, like, you, you right above her, right, and you just like this, nah. and she just look up at you. Nah, what you we can't. His hair going in I tell you, clo- right, so I tell you, close your eyes, you know, these girls, they got uh, Batman, Batman uh, lashes on their, and their eyelids and mm. stuff, so, you know, you gotta, you don't want to. Get all that Wait, hair in their face. Because sounds are looking at you kind of young. We got to get a gunshot sound <laughs> effect because this <laughs> we the shot's fired. <laughs> all right, no, finish we add a, But so what I was just, what I was getting to is that, like, I try to be professional as possible. Um, and I'm, I've dealt with a lot of women that have shot their shot at me. And it's usually in the workplace. <laughs> and what happened with this particular one, she wasn't, it wasn't just shooting a shot. She was trying to. She's trying to give me the championship. She's trying to just tell me she wanted to, you know, give me her, give me her pussy. Mm. And no, oh, she did. She did. And I had to. Do we had know? a conversation recently when we were in the chair, where I had told her like she was really surprised because she told me she said I've never, literally, she said I've never been denied when trying to vent. She said, um, now I I don't mind shooting my shot at men because I get what I want. But you are the first man that has denied my request. And I had to tell her, I said, hey, you're not the only one. You're not the only woman that has said that to me. Because like you said, for it, like, I just look at it like, Jamal, you didn't hit plenty of pussy. Like, so it's like if you're going to hit something new or something that may be worthwhile, she got to spark your, she got to spark your interest in another way. Like, it just yeah. can't be what's in between your legs. Because exactly. One thing, one thing I've noticed. Some some women think that they got prized possessions down there, mm-hmm. and it's really trash can lids. <laughs> like really trash can lids. It ain't. Mm-hmm. It ain't what it's all cracked up to be. And I always tell people all the time, your sex game and your sexual part is only valued by your reviewers. Mm. <clears throat> Interesting. So you're saying that we should like have Yelp for pussy. For sure. Say Yelp for pussy. What'd you say? <laughs> yeah. Yelp for, for pussy. Sure. Oh, for sure. wow. And, and dick. Sure. Uh, yeah, for, for sure. For, for I sure. mean, for sure. Pussy. Both ways. Sure. I mean. That's going to humble a lot of people. I'll Absolutely. tell you that. It definitely should. And a lot of people don't, they don't understand that. Like, a dude that, a dude that was jackrabbiting you for two minutes may think he gave you the best thing in the world. But mm. in reality, he was jackrabbiting <laughs> you for two minutes. And now you now your thing down there look like a big old balloon. And us women will speak on that. Yeah, I mean like but directly though. Moving on. Okay.